Last Friday, the Alabama Department of Mental Health announced their plans to close down the Part Low Developmental Center in Tuscaloosa. Here to tell me what will become of the employees and clients is the Commissioner of the State's Department of Mental Health, Ms. Zelia Ball. Ms. Ball, thank you for being with us today. Thank I appreciate you for it. Me. Well, let's just go ahead and get right to it. Last Friday, you guys decided to, to close down Part Low. Where did that decision come from? Well, that's a great question. Um, actually, that decision has been um, in the makings for at least the last year and a half. And um, Friday was the culmination of much effort by uh, many people in the department, as well as having a new administration in place now with, with um, Governor Bentley's uh, staff and a new commissioner. So we felt like it was the appropriate time to make the formal announcement so we could begin the process. All righty. Talk to me a little bit about, we have 400 employees over there, mm -hmm. roughly, 100, close to 150 clients. Mm -hmm. What happens to them? Well, with regards to the clients, um, we will be moving them into community-based resources. Some of them will be here in Tuscaloosa because that is where they're from. Others will be placed throughout the state. Um, and as a result of those community placements in one, two, or three-person homes, there will be jobs created from those uh, um, placements in the communities here in Tuscaloosa. There are also, um, we placed a hiring freeze at our Taylor Hardin facility, our Bryce Hospital, and also our Harper um, Center here in Tuscaloosa last April. So we weren't replacing positions that people retired from in anticipation of this so that we could absorb Portlow employees into the remaining three facilities here. And then there's also um, employers in this region that are very much interested in the special skill sets that our employees have on the Portlow campus also. Now, how many of, of the 400 employees do you think that you'll be able to absorb into Taylor Harden and these other areas? Well, if history is an indicator of, of the future or the present, um, in the previous closures with our developmental centers, uh, approximately 90% of the employees there were employed upon the closure. I see. What is, and you expressed to me before we got started today, whenever we were meeting, that, that you've seen some things in the paper and, and mm -hmm. you've heard some things on the radio, et cetera, that, that just aren't true. What do you want the folks at home to know? Well, I really want people to know at home, the reason why we made the decision to close the Partlow facility is not to save money. We made the decision to close the Partlow facility because nationally there's a mov movement with people with intellectual disabilities to move them from institutional settings back into the communities that they came from or wherever their families and, and the consumer chooses to go to, that they have a much better recovery rate, they do better in, in small one, two, and three person homes versus large institutional settings. And so I really want people to understand that that was the basis of this decision, that, that the days of, of having people locked up in state mental institutions, in particular the Partlow Center, are, are over because that's not the best thing for the consumer. And I also want people to realize that there has not been an admission to the Partlow facility in over two years. So this is not a facility that is meeting current community needs. It has not had an admission in over two years. And so pretty much you're talking about individuals that have lived there a long time that we're pl now placing back into the communities and having the money follow the person into the community. All righty. Well, thank you very much for being with us today. I'm sorry we're out of time. That's okay. You can find out more about the Alabama Department of Mental Health online at mh.alabama.gov or you can call 1-800-367-0955.